My name is Mike Rehill, and I will be your MC for the duration of the tattoo. As the fanfare team assembles, the city of Hamilton is situated on the traditional territories of the Erie, Neutral, Huron Wendat, Haudenosaunee, and Mississaugas. This land is covered by the digital one spoon Wamp and Belt Covenant, which was an agreement between the Haudenosaunee and the Anishinaabeg to share and care for the resources around the Great Lakes. We further acknowledge that this land is covered by the Between Lakes Purchase, 1792, between the Crown and the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. and the Shahalian Dancers formed in 1968. Thank you to the City of Hamilton and the Hamilton Military Museum for sponsoring this event. We hope you enjoy our tribute to Canada's 155th birthday. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the pipes and drums.
of Pipe Major Scott Ballinson CD and Drum Major Kent Wilson CD. The pipes and drums entered to the three four marches, Argyles crossing the River Po, the Highland Brigade at Magers Fontaine, and the Dream Valley of Glendora. They'll now reform and march off to the Memorial Bells of Inverary, the Piper's Cave, and Pipe Major Ross's farewell to the 2nd Battalion. city of many firsts. The RHLI band was first formed in 1866 and made up of musicians from Hamilton's Artillery Battery Band, which was formed in 1855 by the James Street Music Store owner Peter Grossman. It has the history of being the oldest enlisted band in Canada. The band performed in London, England in June 2016, where they were joined by the British Army Rifles and Sounding Retreat for His Royal Highness Prince Philip on Horse Guards Parade. This summer, the band will be featured at the Fort Henry Tattoo on August the 20th. The band appears by kind permission of Lieutenant Colonel Alex Collick, Commanding Officer. The band is under the direction of its 14th Director of Music, Captain Ryan Baker, CD, and is led on parade by Drum Major Adam Mulsey, CD. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Regimental Band of the RHLI.
Canada on the March by Colonel Jake Jager of the Irish Guards. This march was recently been authorized as the official march of the Canadian Armed Forces Music Branch. The band then segued into Wilhelm Zela's March, Wellington, which won the 1906 Boozy and Hawks International March Competition. It has been played by the band since that time. The band will now play the Lord of the Dance, featuring solo, piccolo, solo piccolos Corporal Clary Yang and Private Samantha Marsha, conducted by Director of Music Captain Ryan Baker. Century of Progress, which was the theme for the 1967 Canadian Centennial Tattoo.
Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders of Canada, Princess Louise's, was formed in 1903 as the 91st Highlanders, largely by the Scottish citizens of Hamilton and from the Highland Company of the 13th Regiment, which later became the Royal Hamilton Light Infantry. You could say that we are siblings as we came from the same parent, and we certainly have that sibling rivalry. The pipes and drums march on to their company march pasts, the Pibrach of Donald Dew, the Cock of the North, and all the blue bonnets are the border.
Jones will now play a selection of 4-4 marches, the Minstrel Boy, the Blue Bells of Scotland, the Galloway Hills, and the Rowan Tree. Ladies and gentlemen, the Argyles. several military bands in the Windsor Essex County area including the Windsor Regiment, HMCS Hunter and the band worked for many years as the Windsor Militia District Band. The Windsor Regiment Band was brought to the Windsor back to the Windsor Regiment in 2008. The band is under the direction of Captain Andrew Shaw and performs by kind permission of Commanding Officer Lieutenant Colonel Alan Finney. Ladies and gentlemen, 
please welcome the Windsor Regiment Band and the Band of the Royal Hamilton Light Infantry as they enter to the truly Canadian march, Mon Ami.
year marks the 80th anniversary of the Dieppe Raid, where almost 200 Rileys lost their lives. In tribute to the almost 5,000 casualties of that fateful day, the band exits, led by Drum Major Brian Eagles of the Windsor Regiment Band and Drum Major Malsey of the Rileys, to the march, Men of Dieppe. Last band, by the center, quick march! of the Argyles now returned and are joined by the famous Shaelian dancers under the direction of former world dancing champion Sander Ball Jones. They'll march on to the 6-8 marches, the Athol Highlanders.
They will now dance the Barracks Johnny, which is a Strasbay, to the Braves of Mar. Last dance of this set, the fling, which is a Strass babe, done to the tune the Marcus of Huntley's Highland Fling. and I'll march off to the 2-4 march, the 79th farewell to Gibraltar. Pikes and drums. Hi, the center.
While the bands were formed for the finale, a few words about the dancers. The Shahelian Dance Ensemble was established in Hamilton in 1968 by Sandra Ball Jones and is co-directed by Chelsea Verbeek. Over the years, dancers have come and gone, but the enthusiasm and high standards maintained by this group have resulted in delighting audiences in many parts of Canada, the United States, Great Britain, Asia, and Europe. The Shahalian dancers have participated in the Last Tattoo in Berlin, the Festival of Flowers in the Channel Islands, the Festival Interceltique in Brittany, France, the Scottish Festival in Hawaii, and a folk festival in Macau. A highlight was appearing in the Edinburgh Tattoo in 1981, 1986, and 2003. Other performances include the Queen's Visit to Hamilton, We Maggie Goes to Scotland at Hamilton Place, the opening ceremonies of the World Cycling Championship, and 18 years of performances in Musical Mosaic. Locally, the Shailen dancers participated in the Hamilton Tattoo during the 25 years it was held. They have also competed across Canada with highlights including the 2014 Canadian Championships in London, Ontario, and 2017 Canadian Championships in Charlotte, Ontario. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome all of our performers for the final act of the evening, Scotland the Brave.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please stand as you are able for the singing of O Canada and the Royal Anthem.